Hey everyone, welcome back. Round Geek here. So I can't recall a single month since I started using Windows and when I haven't encountered an issue with the Windows. So whenever I face any problem with Windows, most of the time I use the Windows built-in tool that is the command prompt. Now initially, at the first period of time, you may feel uncomfortable or not so much friendly. But when you will start using it, you will find a very best and a very friendly tool to fix many kind of problem. And today in this video, I will be sharing that how exactly I troubleshoot my Windows problem using the command prompt. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So in order to use the command prompt on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on your Windows search. Either type here CMD or command prompt. You will be getting command prompt in the suggestion. Right click on it, click run as admin so that you should have the entire permission to run all kind of command. Now the first troubleshooting that I do is repairing the corrupted system file. So whenever my computer start crashing, showing up any kind of blue screen, slowing down or acting up in general, the first thing I do is check if corrupted system file are not the cause. Fortunately, command prompt make this process very simple. You will have to use a simple command that is SFC space for the slash scan now. And once you hit the enter key, it will be scanning for all the corrupted or missing file and attempt to fix them automatically. So now you have to wait until this command is 100% completed and even it will show you the result and the report that if there was any corrupted or any kind of integrity violation, it will let you know that it has automatically fixed it. And on my end, you can see it says Windows Resource Protection found a corrupted file and successfully repaired them. You can also view the detailed information on this particular location. Now, in case if after running this command, still if you have the issues, then I also use the DISM tool to repair the Windows image. So again, you can use the command that is DISM space for a slash online. All right, so I made some mistake here. So the final command will be DISM space for a slash online space for a slash cleanup dash image space restore health. Once you are done, now you will have to hit the enter key. And now this command will be trying to restore the health of the Windows ISO and try to fix the image. Now, once again, this command is completed, I would also recommend you that again run the SFC command once the DISM command is completed. So very effective way. First, you can try the DISM command and after that you have to run the SFC command. And I'm very sure that this command, this simple command will be helping you to fix many kind of system uh, windows corrupted file to repair them and to fix many kind of issues. All right. Now, next, the best work that I take from the command prompt is resolving the network connectivity issues. So the Internet start acting up many times. Maybe uh, your Wi-Fi keep disconnecting. The connection is painfully slow or it drop out entirely. I run into this problem from time to time and before pointing fingers to the ISP, I like to run a few command check to make sure that the issue isn't on my end. And you can also do the same thing to find out that where exactly the problem is uh, by using the command prompt only. And you can type here IP config space for a slash release. And once you hit the enter key, this will be releasing the current IP address and request a new one. And in order to request a new one, now you have to type IP config space for a slash renew. So the release command will be releasing your current assigned IP address and the renew will be assigning a new IP to you. And after this, you can try another command that is IP config space for a slash slash DNS. And once you hit the enter key, it will say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. So this command basically cleared all kind of old or corrupted DNS entries, allowing the system to fetch fresh DNS record. So if you have any kind of issues with the Wi-Fi connectivity, loading up the pages so that all problem can be fixed by running the single command. Another network command that you can use is NTSH space INT space IP space reset. And this command will be resetting the TCP IP stack to, to its default state and I only use this command as a last resort when other steps don't work. All right. So after typing this command, just hit the enter key. And it says restart the computer to complete this action. So you will have to go ahead and restart the computer. Even I would recommend you to restart your modem or router. And I'm very sure you will find that the problem will be fixed related to the network. All right. Next, I use the command prompt to scan and diagnose the hard drive errors. 
So Windows offer a built-in utility called Check Disk, which has been part of my regular system maintenance for years. This tool is scan your system drive, file system and physical sector to detect and fix issues like corrupted file, bad sectors, lost clusters and directory errors. And if you don't use this kind of command, this can result to many kind of file corruption, system freezes and many more problems. And in order to run it, again, you have to bring up the command prompt, type chk dsk space forward slash c, where c is the drive you want to scan. So on my end, if I bring up my file explorer, so the c drive is the main drive here where my windows has been installed. So you also need to use the same drive letter. So my on my end, it's c, so I will be typing a c. Then type colon, give a space type forward slash f space forward slash r. So here the forward slash f, tell the tool to fix my detected error and forward slash r, instruct it to locate the bad sector and recover the readable data. All right, so after typing this command, you will have to hit the enter key. It says, would you like to schedule the, this volume to be checked the next time the system restart? So in case if it doesn't run right now, it will be running when your computer gets restarted. So don't get afraid, don't get uh, panic, because the next, when you choose here Y to allow the permission, the next time when you restart the computer, it will be giving you a prompt to check the system, to check the, your system disk. So you will have to wait there until the check has been completed. So you can press here the Y key and it will be detecting for all kind of bad sectors and fix all kind of problem related to the hard drive. Okay, next is force quit the unresponsive task. So when an application or task become unresponsive, we turn up the task manager to force it to close. But what if the task manager also failed to do the job or it's not opening up for you? So in that case, I use the task kill command in the command prompt, which forcefully ends the step on processes. So in order to terminate a specific application or process, you will have to again bring up the command prompt and here you have to type a simple command task kill space for a slash I am give a space and then you have to type the name of that particular application that you want to quit. Now here, for example, let's say there is a notepad open and I want to forcefully close it so I can type here notepad dot exe because it's a exe file give a space and then type for a slash f so the command will be task kill that will be killing the task for a slash i am stand for the image name and the f for a slash f stand for uh, the termination of the process so once you have done now if you hit the enter key so bingo you can see that the notepad has been automatically closed here and it says success the process notepad.exe with PID has been terminated. So this command also you have to keep in mind because there comes a time when many kind of application get stuck and it's not closing up and even the task manager is not working for you. Then you can use this simple command in order to end any kind of application, any step born application uh, with the simple command. All right, let's move with the last uh, work that I take from the command prompt is troubleshooting the Microsoft store and the app glitches. So I often use the application from the Microsoft store, but sometimes they act up, they refuse to open, fail to update or cause the store itself to crash or slow down and even many kind of problem. So whenever I have the issue with the Microsoft store, I clear its cache, which usually uh, fix many kind of problem related to the Microsoft store. So again, you can bring up the command prompt and type here a simple command that will be WS reset dot exe and once you hit the enter key it will be resetting the microsoft store and after resetting the microsoft store will be coming up automatically for you so if you have any problem like the store is not opening up or the store is not downloading or installing any kind of application then try the simple command in order to reset the microsoft store so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found all these command prompt command very useful very helpful in the future to fix many kind of your windows problem and i really want that you all people should know about this command which will be helping you day by day in fixing many kind of problem and if you really enjoyed the video guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye